Getting ready to cut the hickory tree. Hickory, hickory, hickory. Hickory, hickory, ho. Hickory, dickory, day. Hickory, watch. Don't oh, get my gut caught in that thing. Son of a bucket spill my guts right here in front of everything. Ah, oh, this puppy is leaning over the hill, over the bank. Not terrible bad, but pretty good bad. Can just be aggravating. I used to get them to take on the father in law. One day he was already started milking, but I took him down there. He said, You go ahead in it. And anyhow, I opened that truck up and had son of a bitch just as mean as he was when I put him in there. Three weeks later, with nothing to eat or drink. In the middle of the summer, you can imagine how hot it got in that damn truck. Break off! Break off! Aggravate, son of a butt! Boy, I hate you, hit the tree! You have been a prick! That was pretty swear. Holy sweet Jesus, it goes around the corner and way back there. We are on this property. 
Uh, it's on Tim's. Um, it's a buddy of ours down here. Um, it is a long ways out. It's thin. There's not much in it. But holy cow, it's long. It's an un... Parts of it's economical good. And parts of it's not. Because the fact that... Uh, it lays good. It'll move fast as far as the geography, but it's so far back that it's gonna take us forever to get this thing trucked in. So we're gonna have to bring all, and we're just down the road like two miles. So we're gonna bring all the equipment over here and tag team this thing and bust it out quick. This is gonna be the long, tall Tim job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it, bud. Okay, well, you get in spots like this, and then what Tim's a fighting is this sandy soil. He's fighting erosion like crazy. This soil is unforgiving as far as erosion. So we got to log this just right. We got to log this just right if we're going to get the job done without creating Tim a problem. So... It's got to be trucked out. It's just got to be trucked out. And it's not a lot of footage, but with the situation, it's going to take. And the good news is we're close by. I can hear the boom cutting up logs. I can hear junkyards backup beeper from where we're at. So, so we'll probably road tiny over here and maybe the skitters. So I'm going to start moving equipment. It's Saturday. I'm going to start moving equipment over here. Derek's working on his cutter. I got Brutus's maintenance done yesterday, Friday. Uh, Stevie and M's taking out uh, Ruby Redbone Bridge down there. So uh, Stevie and Big Daddy the Junkyard's pulling out Ruby Redbone Bridge. We got straw to put in there on the banks and seed and straw the banks. And then he'll be up on top of the hill. And Stevie will be Monday. I'd say Stevie will get done Monday with the den den, but we'll just have to see. Monday morning, here's a, another section, it's a pocket of it. Kinda lays bad over here. But Monday morning, we're gonna get that big freaking ginormous red bone oak. Pull up all that hole I shouldn't have cut to start with, cause it's doty. Uh, that's gonna be something to catch on film. We'll, ca we'll catch that on video. I gotta put y'all like this, cause the sun's up the back. But uh, we'll catch that on video. And I'm thinking at this, I'm tentatively thinking two skitters and a den den all pulling to get that big son of a buck pulled up out of there. What a mess. It was supposed to land up on the hill, not down in the hole. Not down in the ditch, but it, it ain't nowhere nice, I can tell you that. Yeah, that is gonna suck. But there's your the ash trees you know they're dying gonna be falling in tim's field and just making him a bunch of mess so we're gonna try to get all this knocked out and cleaned out for him it's uh, uh ash is not going extinct but the market for ash is probably gonna be for a lot of years All right, Tater's not here, so I'm gonna to try to do this on his behalf. I'm pretty sure he got this on video, or if he didn't, he should have. Of making a crossing that went across this big ditch to access the timber on the other side of this landowner's property. This is a great big ditch, and it's a sensitive ditch. A lot of people don't like messing with ditches like this, but it kind of seems like this is our cup of tea for the equipment that we got, and the operators that we got that runs the equipment that we got. I make it sound like it's my equipment. I just work for the company. But I feel like I'm a part of the family of what they have established along the way with knowing of how I run this thing. Enough of that. But here it is. This is the finished product. Taylor don't get to do a lot of the finished product, and I'm going to try to help him with some of it, maybe for his YouTube channel. So 
we pulled all the crossing out and I packed that hillside in as good as I can with the den den without causing too much more ground disturbance than what there already is as far as pulling the trees across that he had laid in there dug into that bank. Uh, a lot of that stuff over there is just junk, trash. We took a bunch of wheat seeds scattered across it and then I took some uh, straw and strawed it. Now this side here still has pulp wood down inside of it but I don't want to pull that out that's going to make more of this road down into the bank and then i also just took some more of that trash stuff and laid it across to it and it just tracked up and down it about 10 times and then then packing it in there real good and now everything that i got behind me is going to be the same thing that i track out on i'll get you a little bit of this real quick and i'm going to get off here and help big daddy finish this out it's saturday and we're trying to get this job done today or this bottom uh flattering the pancake up through there and it's moist and soft so i'm going to walk across all this and then there's some stuff over there i'm going to bring in and help pad the skid road where big daddy's at there's a ditch i got to help uh lay some poles in to keep the erosion down on it and then pull our bridges out and then heading up the hill all right so here we are again tater is about four or five miles down the road with the rest of the crew starting the job while i'm finishing up on this job and i love doing finish work Special with Big Daddy. There's nothing but knowledge being learned there. But I'm going to give you a real quick summary of what I got going on. I've got a ditch right there that I need to put a little bit more brush in to help slow the water down. I got a little ditch right on the other side. I got to take one pole out of it to let the water roll through it. I got it just a little bit too much backed up. And then I'm going to water bar these hills I'm coming up, take this brush, fold it in, and I'll get you an overall when I'm done. So here's one big mega water bar. I got it running off slope and then it's just brushed in sticks and trees and root balls and tops all the way down there to the big major crossing. She's done. And that's what it looks like looking up towards Din Din. That ought to make somebody happy. All right, one last item of business. We are cutting a uh, tree for Stevie over there. The last tree of this job we gotta cut down for Stevie. There's Derek and Robin's trees, they cut out through here. I had one there's a stockpile over here and I couldn't cut it the other day. Stevie don't want to do it by himself, he wants me to help him. So we'll go help him. Steel. Where's the keys at this? There we go. We'll cut it up and set it up for Stevie so he can come over and push it directly.
I'm not taking the time to get the drone out because we are hustling up. Uh, so you're not going to get your drone shots on this project. That's all Derek's cutting. That's all rubber tire cutting and look up in the trees. The tops look great. Good job, Derek. Now over here. This is all Derek cutting too over here. That's all Derek. Rubber tired cutter, and that ain't even easy cutting through there. Look how pretty that looks. Good job, Derek. Now, if you're doing that kind of work with the rubber tired cutter, you're a timber cutter. Because the ground that lays like this, you can't cut it like grabbing it and cutting a tree. You gotta actually do logging tricks. You gotta actually do timber cutting tricks. Because you gotta be able to use that hot saw like a chainsaw. When you when you can't on a rubber tire cutter, there's, there's no cheating on a rubber tire cutter. It's it's hard to you gotta earn every bit you get. But look at that, look on the tops. Beautiful job. Good job, Derek. Damn good job, Derek. And uh Roger, Derek and Roger, Roger skid it off of him. because Derek can't top well with that rubber tire cutter, so Stevie cleans him up with the dead end. There's a hard cut spot. They cut that pretty hard around that peninsula, and there's a the tree we cut, and they sit back. Look at the canopy. Look at the stems. That's good. That's good cutting. And that's a good poplar grove growing back right there, too. And down this low area, they cut it harder down towards the bottom. See that path down there? Good job, Derry. Good job, Derry. Good job, Derry. I'm proud, old boy. I'm telling you. Let me go over there and look and see if I can get a good enough job done. Which mine was a clear cut. Hell, mine looks worse than Eric's does. Here I am, supposed to know what I'm doing, and Derek's sitting there showing me up, and he and he's got a rubber tire cutter, and I got Brutus. There's the property line. Oh, come on. let me out of here. This is an odd boss. This looks fine up here. Look at my canopies up here, and stuff. But. Let's go down here. Now, I did back on the neighbor to push this, but I figured it's better than the alternative. One you don't see often. That's a black willow. You see that out here closer to Illinois, but you don't see that often. It's like a weeping willow, except it ain't weeping. Ain't got nothing to bawl about. Black willow. We are, uh, we're just plugging away at this job. I'm back here cutting. On the north side of the ditch here at uh, the Long Tall Tim job, and uh, Derek and Robin, they took Titus and Junkie Skitter and they headed to the back and they're cutting back there in the back. Had a little issue this morning. Let me turn y'all around. I guess I wasn't recording. So this morning, we had a little issue this Monday morning and the uh, chipper had a little issue with the chipper dipper. Tim went to fire it up, and he, 
I did a video the other day. Let me cut away to this. You can hear the chipper belt squalling when it starts. Yeah, get her up. All right. Think down that way. How you doing this morning? Pretty good. For the damn good, huh? For the damn good. I just had just slipped my mind. He spaced it. It was Monday morning. He's coming in. Uh, well, the chipper started up, started running wood through it. Well, as soon as the wood got built up from the, it bridged over to chip chain. Once it got built up to the chipper head, it just filled up the chipper desk until it couldn't pack any more wood in there whatsoever. And because the belts are loose. The motor didn't kick out. It just sat there and chewed the belts off of it. So it was a mess. We had to deal to get the. Uh, we had to dig out all the chips out of uh, the chip chain because they was all bridged over, and then put a set of new belts on the chipper, which is coming anyways. What the old belts are squalling, we was gonna have to finally place them anyway. But that set me back getting down here for about two hours, probably, or more. Uh, just over two hours, actually. I think I left the middle of quarter after eight instead of uh, quarter, till, quarter till six. So. But we got down here, Derek and them got the great big red oak tree moved with uh, two skitters and a den den. They got that done. And they said it was a pretty good little feat, but it wasn't nothing they couldn't handle. I wish I'd recorded it because that looked neat. And it's like Stevie said, I should have let him, I should have had him come up there and push the tree instead of using Brutus. Or I wouldn't end it up over the hill to start with. But the fact that we used Brutus on it kind of caused an issue with losing it over the hill. This is a walnut here. I don't want to crack up the uh, trunk of this tree. So anyways, once they got that done, Robin and Derek brought the gray truck over and Robin drove junkyard skitter over and they went to the back and started cutting. So I'm running up this ditch, they're doing the other one and they're setting up for Tiny in the back and then uh, we'll see where we get to see me. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe and hit that bell. Thank you for, thanks for watching the video and make sure to get that walkway.com more. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye, everybody! <laughs> <laughs> He's like them loose rings.